In a shock announcement, Elizabeth Magell, president of the University of Pennsylvania, resigned from her post mere days after presenting testimony in front of Congress. This development unfolds after Miguel took the helm just last year, and her abrupt resignation has left many in both the academic and political worlds intrigued and speculating about the reasons behind her exit. Miguel, a law scholar of high renown, became the first female president of the University of Pennsylvania in 2020. She carried extensive administrative experience, having previously served as provost at the University of Virginia. During her tenure at Penn, she advocated for increased student diversity, advocated on mental health initiatives, and facilitated research advancements in complex scientific areas, making her decision to step down even more surprising. Her resignation took place four short days after her keynote testimony in Congress. The details of the testimony are not immediately clear, but it falls within a significant broader trend of university heads being called to answer questions about campus policies, student loan concerns, and the role of institutions in addressing societal issues. This trend indicates a change in how higher education is perceived and managed, cultivating more direct involvement from government bodies. While it hasn't been explicitly stated that Magil's exit ties into her congressional appearance, the close proximity of the two events has further fanned the flames of speculation. As yet, no official statement has been released from either Magil or the University of Pennsylvania concerning the underpinning reasons behind her departure. The impact of this resignation has left an indelible mark on the landscape of academic leadership. As one of the few women at the head of a major academic institution, McGill was seen as a trailblazer, championing various progressive causes and amplifying voices within the academic community often left unheard. Any detailed reasons for Magill's resignation remain shrouded in mystery. Still, the abruptness of her departure and its timing relative to her congressional testimony suggests a complex interplay between academia and politics. This event underscores the criticality of transparency and accountability in defining the relationship between academic institutions and government. As the academic world awaits further details and the announcement of a successor, it is clear that McGill's resignation stands as a stark reminder of the scrutiny and pressures on those in leadership positions within the higher educational system. Whether her exit was the result of internal strain, external political pressure, or a combination of factors, it marks a significant event in the ongoing conversation about the role of higher education leadership in today's world. 